Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the wet and wild happening in NFT land. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way in today. I'm going to be going over just some quick gaming stuff. I really just wanted to make a video. So I'm going to be talking about a little bit of the news right now because hell, why not? Right. So we got some gaming stuff. So blockchain games, strongest category amid crypto market downturn. So surprisingly enough, this article really just talks about how despite everything else, um, NFT gaming is up 197% year over year, even though it dropped down a little bit in the game transactions by 5% in May, it's still doing phenomenally better than pretty much anything else that's going on. So that I thought was really cool. To add to that, the first blockchain game is coming to Epic stores and it looks like shit. Fantastic. <laughs> um, if you see some of the stuff being built by Unreal Engine, that's sort of the idea that people are trying to get at, like that really epic, realistic, larger than life looking stuff. And eventually it will get there. Um, I am surprised that this doesn't come out looking a lot better. We'll take a look at the footage that this game is offering. Um, just kind of let's just read the article a little bit. So developers and publisher Epic Games will make its official foyer into the crypto with grit a battle royale game from blockchain video game creator Gala Games. Uh, so previously, Epic Games clashed with video game marketplace Steam, who took a no NFT stance in 2021. Epic founder and CEO Tim told them to go fuck themselves. I'm Epic Games, motherfucker. And that Epic Games stores will continue to welcome games that use that make use of blockchain tech, provided they allow the relevant laws disclose their terms and are age rated by the appropriate group and now the company is doing it it's really doing it <laughs> this article is pretty funny he makes he pokes some fun here and there so gala games announced at its galaverse convention on june 6 that it had oh that was recently holy shit it signed a partnership with epic so there will be additionally um so there will be an additional gala blockchain games eventually coming to epic's digital marketplace so I think this is great. I know a lot of people don't like the game um, NFT, you know, fusion. Um, I think as long as they do stuff like this, where they invent brand new games that you don't have to necessarily participate in at all, you're okay. Now, that being said, should the NFT games do really well, they're a hundred percent going to take their popular non NFT games and make them into NFTs. The best thing at that point would be to make two different versions. But I think eventually, even if you made the two different versions, eventually they would just get rid of the other one. I, You know what I mean? Or maybe they wouldn't, but they would just leave it there and they wouldn't really make any upgrades, make any, you know, updates to it. They would just kind of leave it as is. And they'd be like, yeah, you can play that game and we don't have to really give a shit about it anymore. So, um... Because Grit was created by Team Grit, not Gala Games, though the two separate companies entered a partnership in February, the game is currently listed as an early access game on Steam as well. Hmm, strange. This listing is clear of any reference. Oh, okay, I, I remember reading this part. So this they didn't mention any of the Web3, crypto, or blockchain necessities in it. So I guess that's why it's on Steam. Um, but then, you know, it is going to be like that in the Epic version. So... Maybe they have two versions. Who knows? Um, when Team Grid announced the delay and before it partnered with Gala, Gala Games did not immediately respond to requests for comments. Gala Games partnership with Epic then marks Grid's official online release. So this game is not out yet. Um, we can take a look. Well, I mean, so I did I mention this? One of the, one of the things that a lot of people got mad at was they found this horse, I guess, on the website or whatever. And they're calling it just the, like, you know, just rehashed um, quality or rehashed assets that has already been used before. Like this horse is nothing new. You took this horse somewhere else and you're just feeding it back to people. Um, uh, people, they, they came out and said that this is not true, um, that this was actually in a statement given to the game developer. Gala Games said that the grid horse NFT pictured in the tweet was a placeholder asset and that in our rush to get the thing ready, things ready for Galaverse, we didn't replace the grid placeholder image. It has been taken down. But Liz Edwards, a senior character artist at Respawn Entertainment, indicated in a series of tweets that the only on-sale grid NFT at present is a gunslinger box containing a one of 10,000 uh, generative characters. So say what you will about that. I mean, they have to release this game and it's got to be freaking like 
they're talking about how this is sort of the 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 beginning of it all. Um, this is a battle royale in the West. It's gonna be it's gonna set the course for what NFT gaming is gonna be in the future with like really big budget studios behind it, right? And it's like great. But then you have this as like kind of the footage. Um, I mean the quality is ass, but that's just like uh, you know. But you can still kind of tell. Not the greatest looking uh, game. There is. Um, why does it put me all the way back at the top for? How annoying. So, Grit did not release have a release date of this yet. Um, here's something that's pretty funny. To answer Gala's question, I would rather enjoy the luxurious and thoughtful world of Red Dead, exactly, than, you know, be subject to Grit, which is, you know, still not looking great. Again, the game's not necessarily out yet. They don't have a release date for it. Yes, the gap between Web 2 and Web 2 Gaming is closing fast. Incredible work from Epic Games and Go Gala Games. Just reading the tweet right there. So, you know, it, it it's good. It's a great start. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this stuff. I know gamers don't like it, but I'm like, um, you know, if, if you could have two separate worlds, I'd be fine with that. That would be great. I don't even really game. I just, I just find anything involving the NFT space to be interesting. Obviously, I have a whole fucking channel about it. It's what I talk about, read about most days anyways. So... We'll see where it goes. I'm hoping it comes out looking better and it's fun. I mean, well, it's a battle royale game. The thing is, not much is known about the game, but you kind of have to release um, something more. I mean, maybe that's just me. Who knows? I would say you need to release something a little bit more extravagant. Like, I wouldn't say... PUBG is dead, but compared to Fortnite, it is dead, right? So what makes this one sort of stand out and kind of compete with Fortnite, aside from just being a, a NFT game, it should also be fun. But then again, a lot of people will play this stuff simply because you can own the assets, trade them, sell them, whatever. Um, and that might be enough to have, you know, if you, if you have a, a bustling economy, that might be enough by itself. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Seth. Seth Green's stolen board ape is back home, everybody. Seth Green's kidnapped board ape has returned to its original owner. I'm so happy. I finally, I want to see the show that he's going to create with this. So fucking yes. And in weeks of frantic speculation as to its whereabouts and the intentions of its alleged abductor, a synonymous NFT collector known as Mr. Cheese blockchain transaction records which uh, document the buying and selling of digital assets like nfts show the board ape 8398 being transferred from cheese's nft wallet to a wallet associated with green on tuesday when asked about it in the twitter space for green's nft company on tuesday green confirmed to buzzfeed that the ape is home the exchange appeared to have occurred uh, by way of crypto escrow platform called nfc trader where records reveal the ape departing cheese's wallet and eventually landing in fred simian account that that's uh, presently contains it green has previously stated that he named the ape fred right okay and seemingly ran a twitter account created for the character an unnamed wallet likely belonging to green it's been used to purchase nfts that now exist in his public vault transferred uh, transferred 165 ETH or approximately two, almost $300,000 to an address uh, operated by NFT trader to exchange the ape. The Ether appeared in a wallet belonging to Darkwing84 or a Mr. Cheese alias minutes later. So Dark Dark, I don't think Darkwing was the one that actually stole it. I think, he, I think they stole it and then sold it and Darkwing got it. At least that's the way I think it was played out. Um, and so he made like $300,000 off of it. So, and Seth Green gets his show back. It is what it is. Um, I feel no ways about either version of this. I'm glad Seth Green has his NFT back and he can make the show again. The transaction suggests Green may have repurchased the ape for nearly 100000 more than Cheese initially paid for it. So he made $100,000 off of it, despite threatening to sue Cheese if they refused to return it to him. A real bummer for anyone who had their fingers crossed from a Green versus Cheese lawsuit. I did not. It would have been fun, I guess. It would have made great content to keep track of that. But I'm glad it worked out this way. Um, worth noting, Green recently tweeted that he had made contact with Cheese on May 25th 
following numerous appeals from the actor to return the ape. So I'm glad that it's here. This means that the show is back on and we should be seeing a what I think is a pretty competent um, NFT show. Compared to the ones I've seen, the animations I've seen, they're not fantastic. Um, neither the animation, nor the writing, nor the comedy, nor any of it. So I'm super happy that this is actually back where it belongs with him. And, you know, this is going to be, to me, this is going to be pretty some cool shit. I'm def- I don't know what kind of videos I'm going to make. I don't know if I'll review the episodes. Um, or if I will, like, I don't really know. I don't really know how I'm going to, but I want to go through the episodes as they're released and just sort of break down what's going on. But I'll figure that out myself in the future. So finally, anonymous hacker served with restraining order via NFT. Um, I can't remember if I had this out for thing. I don't think so. Law firm Holland and Knight and Bluestone have served a de- uh, a defendant in a hacking case with a temporary restraining order through a non-fungible token, marketing the first known legal process to be um, facilitated by an NFT. White what? I don't think I read this article until just now. <laughs> So a law firm has served a defendant in a hacking case with a temporary restraining order through a non-fungible token. I mean, you could. I mean, that's great. I mean, I don't know if you needed to, but sure. <laughs> the so-called service token or service NFT was served to an unnamed defendant in a hacking case involving LCX. Okay. Uh. A, cur- a cryptocurrency exchange that was hacked in January for almost eight million, as Coin Telegraph reports at the time, the attack compromised the platform's hot wallets, uh, resulting in a loss of ETH. Um, very interesting. Um, okay, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, did, I really didn't even know I had this here, this article here. But okay, we're just gonna end it there. Um. I guess you you can make I mean anything can really be an NFT and so this sort of documentation is not is I expect this to happen more and more to be honest I think there's a couple that got married on the blockchain before NFTs were even a thing I think it's maybe I don't remember actually no 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 NFTs are definitely a thing (laughs) anyways guys like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about these articles especially this last one not really gonna go too much into it um I like the, the the most important bit for me was just that first part. Um like comment subscribe and I'll see y'all uh, next time.